Hello everyone, welcome back to PJ Chain Design. Today I would like to show you this ring band with the hollow wire construction on the top and also solid on the bottom. Are you ready? Let's get started. As starting at the front view making a circle for the ring size, I would like to have the size for 16 and you can set it up for whatever the ring size that you wanted to create. Let's find it out how long is this one. I'm going to type it here length and it show 50.265 over there. So I'm going to copy that one and coming into the top view, just draw a straight line and paste the number over there. So I will have this line here. This line means if you have this straightened, it will be represent that. Now to make it more accurate, I would like to divide them into five sections. Let's go ahead to use the divide command and I want to type it five and I will give you the dot over there. So we want to work in between this area here. That's coming into the top view and that's creating the bottom of the ring shank first. So using the rectangle conic corner, I'm going to snapping into the end point over here and coming into the right view and deciding how big I wanted to have this ring shank. So roughly about three millimeter wide, two millimeter uh, thick, and it really depends on how you like it. So I'm going to uh, move it this one from this midpoint over here to the end point of that curve. We need to extrude it to make it into the solid. So I'm going to use the solid extruded planner curve and pick up this curve. We only want to go in one direction and make sure that your point on your all snap is on so you can snapping into this point. All right, so that will be one side of the ring shank and we need to have that to mirror to the other side. So then we will have that ring shank as well. All right, let's deal with the line in the middle. To This is the line that we have for the spiral. So we're gonna coming over uh, the curve tool. You have a one for the helix and make sure you choose around the curve. Then you select this curve and you can decide how dense you want it on this one. So right now you have a term for 22. Let's give it a try by changing it to 12 and see what happened there. Okay, and see if this is what you like. You don't want to have it so big. You want it to be within the uh, thickness or the width of your ring shank. So we got something like that. We actually don't need all the way to the end. So I'm going to just coming over here to use the split command and I'm going to split with the point anywhere inside of it, it's fine. So somewhere like here, I'm just going to remove those. Okay, so now I have a one spiral over there. We need to make a uh, more spiral. So basically, I'm going to come in over here on my right view. Control C and Control V, so I make a copy, and I want three of them. So this one want to uh, rotate it 120 degree. And for another one, I'm going to copy C, Control C and Control V, copy and paste, and do another 120 degree. Let's align them first. Um, we are going to pick up this, this, and all the spiral. Let's go ahead and align horizontal center to the Z point. So they all align like this. And we want the spiral not over our ring shank. So going to moving them down like this. So it's not over our ring shank. It might be too much coming out, depends on the thickness of the piping. So I'm gonna give it a try. Let's try the pipe for 0.3 millimeter radius and see how that look over there. But if it is too thin, simply we are just gonna pipe it one more time. Let's do 0.4 millimeter. Then we will have something like this. Again, if you see this is stick it out and you really don't like it, it's because we get it a little bit thicker than what we plan to have. We can always scale it down. 
with the gumball and then you'll have something like that before you uh, boiling them you want to make sure that this area is fitted because it will be hard for you to file uh, on the bench after that so let's give it a try for 0.35 millimeter and see how that goes all right nice and round over there and we're going to do the same thing nice and round over there so all we need to do now is to select everybody and we want to hit bowling union so now they are one piece we need to make sure we're not changing the ring size so coming over here i would like to select the curve and also this one and we want to align to the bottom over here so now the line is on the bottom of this piece that we just create all right so what we want wanted to do is flow this back here so let's go ahead to use the flow along curve this is the object we want to flow you hit enter and the base curve you want to click this and the target curve let's click on this end all right so it is going sideways because this is where our seam is all we need to do is rotate it back 90 degree then we will have our ring band like this i also have a bezel set in between the gap just kind of giving you other option that what you can do on the design a new course jury cat design right now 3d introduction to intermediate course just coming up if you are new to rhino and really like to learn jewelry design i have a lot of video for step by step guide you through your learning process i hope you enjoy this video please like and comment and let me know if you have other question thank you for watching see you next